There are several situations when you may want to or need to check your cat's temperature. It is important to know how to properly and accurately check this vital sign at home. While cats are experts in masking problems that they may be having, there are several signs they can give you to suggest they aren't feeling well, such as loss of appetite, lethargy, and vomiting. Awareness of your cat's normal behaviors and personality will allow you to recognize other changes. Using a thermometer is the only accurate way to obtain your cat's body temperature. Once you have your cat's temperature, you should follow up with your veterinarian. Method 1. Taking your cat's temperature rectally. 1. Purchase a rectal thermometer. Your two options for taking your cat's temperature are either with a rectal thermometer or an in-ear thermometer. Rectal thermometers will provide the most accurate results. When it comes to these thermometers, you have your choice between digital or mercury thermometers. Digital thermometers will take less time to yield results, making the experience less unpleasant for both you and your cat. Mercury thermometers are made of glass. They require a lot of precaution if you choose to use this type of thermometer when taking the temperature of a cat more likely to squirm. Regardless of the thermometer type you choose, you should label the thermometer as for use on your cat only to ensure no one else in the house mistakenly uses it. 2. Have another person help. Cats naturally don't like having an object placed in their rectum. The cat is likely to try to squirm and run, which can even end in unintentional scratching. In order to help hold the cat still, you will want to ask another person to help you handle the cat. 3. Wrap the cat in a blanket or small towel. The easiest method to restrain your cat involves wrapping the cat in a blanket or small towel. This makes the animal much easier to manage and hold still. Use the blanket to wrap the cat basically like a burrito while leaving the cat's tail and rear end uncovered. 4. Use thick leather gloves to scruff the cat. Wrapping the cat is a perfectly safe method used by many veterinarians. But if you'd prefer not to blanket wrap your cat, you can have your helper simply grab the animal. The person should use thick leather gloves in order to avoid any accidental biting or scratching. The person should then grab the back of the cat's neck below the head. This area is known as the scruff. A gentle grip here provides the best control of the cat's head. Since mother cats pick up kittens by the scruff of their neck, this grip has a bit of a calming effect on the animal as well. 5. Secure the cat's body. Once your helper has the cat by the scruff, the person should use his or her free arm to secure the cat's body against theirs. Ensure the rear end faces outward to give you easier access with the thermometer. To help picture it, the arm wrapped around the cat's body should be positioned as if guarding a football. 6. Prepare the thermometer. If using a mercury thermometer, you should shake the thermometer by flicking your wrist while holding it. Shake the thermometer until it reads below 96 F. 5. Regardless of whether the thermometer is mercury or digital, you should also lubricate the thermometer to make inserting it easier for you and less unpleasant for your cat. Key jelly and Vaseline are two readily available lubricants you can use for this process. 7. Insert the thermometer. Lift your cat's tail and insert a thermometer about one inch into the cat's rectum. Do not force the thermometer. 8. Wait the appropriate amount of time. A digital thermometer will beep when it's ready. If you are instead using a mercury thermometer, then you should leave the thermometer inserted for two minutes. 9. Remove and check the thermometer. After the beep or two minute mark, you can remove the thermometer. A digital thermometer will have an easy digital readout. For a mercury thermometer, hold the handle and angle the inside scale until you can see the bar of mercury beside the numbers. The highest point the mercury is pushed to indicates the temperature. 10. Let your cat loose. The cat will squirm and want to get away as soon as it can. Let go of the cat's scruff or release the blanket with caution so that your cat can't scratch either you or your helper in the process. 11. Compare the temperature to the normal range. 
The normal temperature range for a cat when taken rectally is between 100.4 to 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.8 to 39.2 degrees Celsius. Like humans, a slight variance from the normal is not necessarily cause for alarm. However, if your cat's temperature is below 99 degrees Fahrenheit or above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, then you should immediately consult your veterinarian. Remember that a normal temperature doesn't necessarily mean that your cat isn't sick or injured. If your cat continues acting abnormally or you have any other reason to suspect an injury or illness, then seeing your veterinarian is your best course of action. 12. Wash the thermometer. Don't forget to clean the thermometer with warm, soapy water or with rubbing alcohol. Allow it to dry completely before putting it away. You should also immediately sanitize the sink where you washed the thermometer due to the transmissible bacteria, viruses, and parasites that can be potentially present in cat feces. If using a mercury thermometer, don't make the water too hot. It can break the thermometer. Don't forget to wash your hands thoroughly. Method 2. Taking your cat's temperature by ear. 1. Purchase a digital ear thermometer. There are both pros and cons to choosing a digital ear thermometer. They're easier to use with squirmy cats that are very resistant to rectal thermometers. However, correctly placing the thermometer in the cat's ear canal can be a challenge, making it harder to yield accurate results. Ear thermometers are also more expensive if cost is one of your considerations. 2. Seek assistance in securely holding the cat. Most cats do not mind ear thermometers as much as rectal thermometers. Therefore, assistance may not be as necessary as with taking your cat's temperature rectally. Generally speaking, if your cat allows you to rub and scratch its inner ear, then you may not need help. 3. Hold the cat's head still. Though cats don't mind ear thermometers as much, you still want to hold the cat's head still to stop the animal from squirming while you have the thermometer inserted in its ear. You may find it helpful to scruff the cat. This is when you hold the cat by the back of its neck just below the head. It gives you control of the cat's head and also has a calming effect on many cats. 4. Insert the ear thermometer. Ear thermometers are not nearly as long as rectal thermometers, and you can safely insert the thermometer deeply into the cat's ear. Keep the thermometer at a horizontal angle as you insert it. 5. Wait for the thermometer to beep to indicate a reading has occurred. Ear thermometers take a temperature reading off the recipient's eardrum area, which offers an accurate representation of brain blood temperature. The thermometer will beep to let you know when you can remove it and check the readout. 6. Remove the ear thermometer and check the reading. The normal variance in a cat's temperature when taken by ear is a bit wider than when taken rectally. A normal ear temperature for a cat is between 100 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.8 to 39.4 degrees Celsius. As with a rectal temperature reading, you should consult your veterinarian immediately for a temperature below 99 degrees Fahrenheit or above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember that a normal temperature doesn't necessarily mean that your cat isn't sick or injured. If your cat continues acting abnormally or you have any other reason to suspect an injury or illness, then seeing your veterinarian is your best course of action.